Coulter was invited to speak at Berkeley by campus Republicans on the subject of illegal immigration. The event raised concerns of more violence at Berkeley, where masked rioters smashed windows, set fires and shut down an appearance by former Breitbart News editor Milo Yiannopoulos in February. The University of California, Berkeley, on Wednesday cancelled a scheduled speech by the conservative author Ann Coulter, in the latest blow to the institution's legacy and reputation as a promoter and bastion of free speech. University administrators said in a statement that they could not let Miss Coulter speak because of active security threats. In a letter to the Berkeley College Republicans, which was sponsoring the speech, two vice-chancellors said the university had been unable to find a safe and suitable venue for your planned April 27 event featuring Ann Coulter. The letter, written by Scott Biddy, the vice-chancellor, and Stephen Sutton, the vice-chancellor for student affairs, said it was not possible to assure that the event could be held successfully, or that the safety of Miss Coulter, the event sponsors, audience and bystanders could be adequately protected. After the cancellation was announced on Wednesday, Miss Coulter said in an email that she would definitely speak at Berkeley next week. I was invited to speak by two groups on campus, so I intend to speak, she said. Coulter fired off an angry stream of tweets Wednesday vowing to speak as planned. I will be speaking next Thursday, she tweeted, calling the school's decision a ban on free speech. On Saturday, at the latest of these violent encounters, the police arrested more than 20 people. One video that went viral on social media showed a man identified as a member of a white supremacist group sucker punching a woman who identified herself as an anarchist. These Fight Club type episodes, both on campus and in the city of Berkeley, have escalated since President Trump's election. Dan Mogulov, a spokesman for the university, said the university was committed to having a diversity of voices on campus and was working with the police to reschedule Miss Coulter's appearance. We are going to do whatever we can to make that happen at a time and a place when police can provide safety and security, he said. The event was being co-organized by a campus group called Bridge Cal and the Young Americas Foundation a conservative group that books Coulter's campus speeches. We have no intention of acceding to these unconstitutional acts, the Young Americas Foundation said in a statement. The Ann Coulter Lecture. will go forward.